Hey everyone, it's Jason from Rockland Technologies, and we were having a rough day at the office today with our favorite Wi-Fi adapter, the AWUS1900 from Alpha. We've got some videos up on YouTube showing how to do installation on Kali Linux with a partition, but we found out today that if you're using VirtualBox, for some reason, if you do those installations, the AWUS036ACH works fine, but the AWS1900 doesn't. So we've done some digging around today, and we've actually got a fix for you and we're going to go to it right now. So the issue is you've got your AWS 1900 installed but you don't have a wireless interface and if you run iwconfig nothing comes up on the screen. So the first thing we need to do to resolve this problem is get the computer online. We happen to have a different alpha model that's native uh, in this distro of Kali that we're going to plug in. In your particular case, if you don't have any Wi-Fi cards that are already detected in Kali, you will need to hook up by Ethernet to run the following commands. So now that we've got internet access, the first command we're going to run is this one here. Now keep in mind on our system we've recently run these updates because we wanted to go ahead and make sure this fix works. So your system may take a little while longer if you don't have the latest updates ready. Now we want to run this command. And this is the same situation because we've recently done this. Uh, ours completes quickly. Yours will take longer as the upgrades commence. We're going to run, we needed to run one more command on our system here, which is this one here. And again, we don't have any updates because we just completed running this. Your system may take anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes to complete all the updates, depending on your internet speed. And once everything's complete, we need to run one final command to actually do the installation of the driver. Even though we already have the drivers on the system, for some reason in VirtualBox, the AWS 1900 isn't recognized. And again, in our case, because we've already in installed the driver, you can see on our screen there that it says it's already the newest version. In your case, it should go ahead and proceed to install the latest driver for this adapter. And once the installation is complete, you'll be returned back to the command line. If you do get any errors during the process, make sure that you're using the uh, sudo command before you do anything so that you have the proper com uh, permissions. And also take any screenshots of the errors. If you do need to reach out to our staff, it's always useful when we can see your screen screenshots. Now at this point you should be able to plug in the AWS 1900. So we're going to go ahead and do that on the Now we're going to go up and click up here and we should now see a Wi-Fi interface. So we see it here we can select the network. In our case it's already connected to our previously connected network but you should be able to join a network. If you're not able to see one, we may need to go back into VirtualBox and enable the USB port, which we'll do right now. Back inside the VirtualBox environment, click on your Kali partition and then click Settings. Click on USB, and you should have the Realtek 802.11ac NIC checked off. If not, click the plus button to the right and select it from the list. Now it will appear with a check and you can click OK. This will enable the device in VirtualBox so that you can relaunch your Kali installation. 